Hey, what's up, Sagittarius? We're going to get into your read here. Hope you guys are having a good week and just jump right into it, see what the message is for you guys. And um, there's been a few Sag videos here recently, so if you have not seen that, be sure to check the playlist for those. And if you have time, take a look at that. It might resonate. These are general reads, so not every reading is going to resonate for every Sagittarius out there. So keep that in mind, all right? See what's going on here for Sagittarius. First card coming out, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy here. We have the King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Hangman, Pisces energy. A lot of water coming out to start your read here, Sagittarius. Let me see the focus area for Sag. Two cards jumping out, Six of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. And what is the possibilities for Sagittarius? What's going on? What is the possibilities here for Sagittarius? Hierophant, Taurus energy. Near future, what is the energy looking like for Sag? Ace of Wands, your power, your feeling, Sagittarius. What's going on? High Priestess. We have the Hierophant with the High Priestess here. Your situation is the Six of Cups, soulmate energy here, Sagittarius. Let me see your environment, temperance. So you, your energy is here, but you, you got something else going on as well. I don't know if you're currently dealing with someone. You know, I mean, we do have the Hierophant with the High Priestess. So there is a connection. Um, you know, the Six of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles kind of feels like that's your energy as well here, Sag. So I feel like you're in a, in this energy of moving forward, but also very grounded energy. You know, it's not really fast. It's it's really taking your time with, with things here. And, and I feel like you're taking your time with a lot of different things in your life. This could be work. This could be projects. This could be relationships here. Your energy feels very slow, okay? It's not a bad thing. Near future, we have the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands can feel as though we have these connections that are coming together for you. Because I do feel like you're dealing with something in regards to a soulmate here. Um, I remember we, we did a reading for you, Sagittarius, where I said something about you're going to meet someone that is very intuitive, right? Um, so you could be very intuitive as well. You could be very connected. I feel like you're meeting someone because that is sitting in your possibilities. I feel like you're meeting someone in that energy as well. Now, the other thing too, Hierophant is Taurus energy and the Queen of Pentacles is also Earth energy. And the Six of Swords is an energy of could be coming towards you here. So there can be this energy that is that is working on coming towards you. Doesn't feel like a connection here or a... Um, it doesn't feel like someone here that you've 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 met before. It feels like a very new energy. Let me see the hopes and fears here for you, Sag. What is the hopes and fears for Sagittarius here? What is the hopes and fears for Sag? We have justice, Libra energy, and what's the potential outcome in this reading here for Sagittarius? What is the potential outcome here? Eight of Wands. A lot of communication, a lot of discussions here. Six of Wands underneath as the overall energy. So, I mean, it's like, feels like someone is coming towards you, Sagittarius. Feels like someone's coming towards you, you know? It, it doesn't feel, I'll be straight up, Sag. I don't feel like this person is coming towards you with uh, with an, a feeling of deep love. I don't feel that, you know? I, I feel like this person has their eyes on you. I do feel like this person wants to come towards you here. You know, but I, I kind of feel like we have this, you know, you your power being the high priestess, Piscean energy, king of cups being the challenge in this reading here, and the six of cups being the situation. So there is a need for someone to kind of open up here. You know, there is a need to, um, and I feel like you're working on that, Sag. I feel like someone here is working on opening up, but I do feel like there's an energy coming towards you. Again, very intuitive energy. You're both very intuitive. Um, but Six of Wands here tells me the situation, you know, it, it brings something in regards to you feeling really good about this connection. Okay, let's get a little bit deeper into this here because I want to know a little bit more about this uh, Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me a little bit more about that energy here for Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter energy there. I mean, we do have like, you know, Jupiter is in Gemini. So eight of wands, a lot of communication. This is this is a time. I mean, like th there's there's an energy here where it's like opening up to a new connection. It's really what it is. 
feels like i said love part is not strong all right i'll, I'll be like i said be straight up love part is not that strong it is a connection though you know it, i'm being realist realistic here sagittarius it's just like i see an energy coming towards you i see you meeting someone brand new here but i feel like in, you know if i had to say oh this person is in love with you and and all that i would i would that that is complete bs because i don't pick that up in your energy okay I don't pick it up in their energy as well. I just feel like this person acknowledges, recognizes you, understands who you are, um, wants to get to know you. You know, there, there's that type of energy of wanting to get to know you. But near future of the Ace of Wands, so there is attraction though. There's a lot of attraction, so you feel very attracted to this person, and this person is very attracted to you. Okay, um, so let's see this Ace of Wands energy here for Sagittarius. What is this Ace of Wands energy for Sagittarius here? Will of Fortune is kind of tell me here that. Things are shifting in regards to a new connection for you, a new partnership. Um, for others of you, that Hierophant High Priestess can be someone that works with you. Um, you know, maybe you're like you're, you're starting a business or, you know, you're working on your career. And I feel like maybe there is someone here that um, you get together and you're partnering up and you're kind of moving forward with some sort of new idea. Could be like that for some of you guys. Um, for others of you, like I said, these are... Hierophant with the high priestess. These are these are this is a couple here, right? Um, so it is two people coming together that is very spiritually connected. Let me see the ace of wands here for Sagittarius. What is the ace of wands for Sagittarius here? Four of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. I feel like that Ace of Wands is an energy when you feel it, this attraction with this person. Because again, we're dealing with the soulmate energy, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy there. And Ace of Wands is something here where maybe you are giving to other people, you know, because you, this guy's looking at the Three Cups, not really seeing the Ace of Cups here. But this Ace of Wands kind of gives you that spark in some way with someone else. Um, it's not an Ace of Cups energy because you're not looking at an Ace of Cups. You're not looking at love. That's Maybe that's what it is. It's like you are not looking at it emotionally connected with this person. It's not like you see this person, Sag, and maybe, you know, it's like I feel like it's both ways here, but I don't feel like you're looking at this connection as like, I'm in love with them and this and that. I don't feel that, you know? It feels attractive. It feels like you you do connect with this person here. But it, it also feels like that Ace of Wands kind of takes over. There's a little bit of more attraction with this person. You feel very pulled and connected to this person. Um, so it's like you guys work together well with this person, right? It's that type of energy here. Ten of Cups underneath. So it feels like family. It feels like you've known this person for a very long time. Um, it doesn't feel like a past person coming back, though. It's like a really new energy that feels very comfortable. You feel very comfortable with this person. I feel like trust is going to be built very quick with this as well. So it can start off with like a little bit of a light, friendly friendship, partnership, working on something, you know, something like that. Um, but I do feel like emotions are not really opening up here right it's not being given so so soon so the king of cups is kind of sitting there Sag, and i feel like that's you sitting there going like you know what i'm not sure if i'm that ready yet you know now some of you guys might be ready might some of you guys might be like oh, i just want to meet someone new and i just want to, you know things to just go from you know from from this day to ten of cups you know it doesn't in realistic real life it doesn't happen that way we don't we don't marry someone the next day so i want you to kind of look at this reading a little bit differently Sagittarius it's more of an energy of meeting someone new getting to know them um, but again very spiritually connected very connected feels like family you know feels like someone you've been with before and it builds into this energy it builds into a ten of cups type of energy okay so that's what I'm getting so far in this reading so it's interesting that this energy is becoming stronger for you because this past few readings I, I was picking up a new energy a new connection for you so it's nice to see that this is kind of continuing and the will of fortune is kind of explaining that here that um you know things are starting to shift in a way here but the will of fortune is gonna kind of slowly shift here for you. it's gonna slowly move again we, we're dealing with an earth energy taurus virgo capricorn is very strong in this reading um let me just see the um the justice card because that is a uh, a challenge here death card okay so a lot of you guys with the hopes and fears with justice and the death card here scorpio energy again it's like you 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 could be in uh and also in a process here of ending things uh maybe even going 
like through your own transformation, your own growth at the time, at this time. So it could be this energy where you, you're still figuring out how to open up or maybe, um, how do I want to say this? Because it feels like some of you guys are opened up to meeting a new connection, but there is lingering energies. I mean, that's kind of the best way to explain it. And I feel like it, it is something here that you, you're working on. It's like you're going through this transformation of really getting it out of your energy. That's the best way I can explain it. So I hope that makes sense. But it's in your energy. It's like that death card with the justice card. It's like we are trying to get things in balance. It is in your hopes and fears. It is something here that, you know, you, you might be still trying to hold on to something. It may not be for everyone, but there is this energy of holding on to something. And maybe it's a need to really end something here of the past to move forward. So things can come into balance with you because you do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. And the Four of Cups, like I said, it's like, you know, you, you don't see the Ace of Cups, but you do see that you're wasting your time with other people. So this person is going to really be shown to you in a way where it's like, this is this is someone different, right? This is someone that can connect with me. Um, your environment's temperance. That is you, Sag. So you're, you're, you're looking for balance, but also your environment here is kind of sitting with a sense of balance, your masculine, your feminine energy. Um, and maybe you've been sitting too much in one energy, maybe too much feminine, giving too much, and the other side could be too much masculine, right? Uh, too much in charge and not really wanting to open up. So there's a sense of finding that balance. Um, so in order to find that balance, over here we have justice with the death card. There is a transformation that needs to happen. I feel like you're going through this transformation. So I hope I explained that correctly, but that's kind of what I'm what I'm getting. And sometimes we do find our play, you know, find a time and um, time in our lives that. Um, you know, we, we uh, you know, maybe we did disconnect from a connection in the past and this could have been years ago. Um, and maybe there was it was a long term connection. And then again, this is this is an example. But, you know, maybe there's there's something here where something's presented to you. Brand new, new person. Um, it kind of feels like this transformation, that death card is like not to uh, compare this new person with this past person. Or, uh, you know, maybe things are said or done that trigger you towards a past person. I feel like that is starting to become an end for you, which is really good because I don't feel like this person kind of wants to deal with that type of energy here. Tell me more about this person for Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, this person doesn't want to deal with all that. This person wants to build something very long-term with you, or at least it's in their energy. They don't really want to be um, with someone here that is just, you know, like playing around, uh, you know, things like that here. They want to work towards the Ten of Pentacles energy. So what that means is that per this person is going to take things seriously. You know what I mean? They're going to take their time. A lot of earth energy coming in here. All right. A lot of earth energy, Sagittarius. A lot of communication, Eight of Wands, a lot of fast changes as well when this person comes in. Let me just get one card on that Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands here, Sagittarius energy, the Magician. All right, so could be something that you've manifested in some way here. We do have the Star, Aquarius energy, some sort of wish fulfillment, Sagittarius, that is coming in for you. Six of Wands sitting over here is the overall energy as well. So again, you know, it's like you, you are sitting in this energy of feeling really good. But of course, it's always vice versa, right? It's not only one way. Not that, that this person has to come into your life to make you feel like a six of wands energy. Kind of feels like you need to give this to that person as well. So it's like this person will give you that time, that attention, uh, you know, and work with you here in regards to, like I said, some of you guys very spiritual, very intuitive. Um, but I also feel like it goes both ways. It feels like there should be an evil, uh, evil, not evil, equal exchange here for you. Um, that that kind of works with this person as well. All right, so some sort of wish fulfillment that you've uh, you know you've worked on, um, or it could be working on, and that is coming in. So a lot of changes in regards to your love life, Sagittarius, is coming up here for you. Um, and again, I will say, this this energy, Ace of Wands with the High Priestess and the Hierophant, feels very connected. You're gonna know, like I said, when we saw that Ten of Cups, you're gonna know this is that person. So you know, if you get a call from someone. You know, like tomorrow, you know, and you're just like, oh, you know, and you're not feeling that connection. That might not be this person. Right. So just kind of remember that you're going to know intuitively that uh, this is your person. We have the moon falling out. We do have that Capricorn full moon coming out here very soon. And uh, and maybe this is something that is um, being shown to you. You know, maybe this is something here that is coming during a full moon type of energy here. For others of you with the moon card and we're going through transformation, 
there is this sense of like you know just working on your emotions here okay and there's nothing wrong with that you know when i say that i'm not here to trigger you or anything like that i've been through stuff like this before i can resonate with this long time ago where you know i just you know i, I wanted a new connection but i still had this feelings for a past person it's normal we do that right um but you know when we do meet these new people there's a sense that you know we we start to uh sometimes think of a past person and it's not like i said not too fair for this new person to come in so there is this need to uh heal from this uh past situation um, because the king of cups here is that king of you know he, he has a lot of emotions he likes to love right and i feel like you're stepping into this energy sage to open up your heart here for meeting someone new i know it sounds kind of cheesy for some of you guys but that's what's coming up okay uh one more card here four swords and then we have the two of cups underneath here so i'm going to end it right there sagittarius i do feel like very strong connection coming towards you but we, we have the moon the four of swords the death card the king of cups being your challenge six of cups is the situation so we do have a soulmate coming in towards you here very equal type of energy very spiritual very connected intuitive um i feel like it's being gifted to you or you know i don't want to say gifted to you but there's a wish fulfillment magician with the eight of wands you've made some sort of big change in your life and i feel like you're you've manifested this ten of pentacles ten of cups energy we saw earlier but i feel like the advice is the four of swords with the moon it's like to uh to really just kind of deal with with cer certain situations of why things are triggering you or why things are um you know um you know affecting you of why you can't really fully open up and trust um, and maybe that is something that needs to be looked at. And those things do take time. Um, it doesn't take overnight to, to fix these issues, right? So um, it may take weeks for some, may take a couple of years for others. But, you know, it's something here towards like opening up is to trust other people again, right? So and that I feel like that's kind of being what's called. I, I don't know how that how that is explained correctly, but that's kind of what's coming up. All right, Sage. So that is what I have. If it helps resonate in any way. Please do hit that like button. I'm going to get you guys a Oracle card here. And uh, and then we will close it out. Let's just see here. I'm just going to pull one right there. We do have the Meerkat coming out for you. And that is uh, number 16 here. So Meerkat. I don't think I've ever pulled that one here. All right. It says um, responsibility. So meerkat means responsibility. It says, do you take responsibility seriously or is it easier to blame others or outside influences? There should be a balance between responsibility for others and yourself. Someone may not be honoring their word. Developing a truism is important. Teaching others the skills you have mastered is a highly honorable act. All right. So that is what I got for your Oracle card, Sagittarius. Like I said, if this resonates, helps in any way, do hit that like button. And until next time, we'll see you. Guys, have a good one.